Hello everyone, my name is Mannat. In today's class, I would be discussing about the modernist British poetry. Since modern period, modern era is very vast, I would be discussing it part by part. And today's class is dedicated to modernist British poetry. In yesterday's class, I've already uploaded a lecture on the modern age and important events of the modern age. That class is about the background, historical background of the modern age. So after knowing the background well, now you are prepared to start the writers and the beginning should always be done with the poets. So today in this class, we are going to talk about the modernist British poetry. And this period ranges from 1900 to 1945. And there are a few groups movements that I would be uh, discussing along with the writers. So the first group that I would like to talk about is Imagism. Please study about this literary group Imagism. It is also called as the Poets Club and the Imagists are the very first name you have to remember T.E. Hume. T.E. Hume. H-U-L-M-E. T.E. Hume. The second writer in the imagist group is F.S. Flint. Now people almost just study about T.E. Hume and Ezra Pound and ignore the rest. So you can't ignore the rest. You have to study five imagist poets. T.E. Hume, F.S. Flint, Ezra Pound, Richard Eldington, Richard Eldington and Hilda Doolittle. Hilda Doolittle. These are the five imagists you have to study very well. Also study in detail about the imagist movement. Then coming to the next movement is war poets. Very important uh, to study. I'll be posting on uh, posting a lecture on war poetry also after this. So war poets are extremely important. Uh, under war poets, you have to study some eight to nine poets. Wilfred Owen. Siegfried Sassoon, Rupert Brooke, Head Wynn, H E W D Head W Y N, Head Wynn, Rudyard Kipling, Edward Thomas, Edward Thomas, Ivor Gurney, I V O R, Ivor Gurney, G U R N E Y, Ivor Gurney, then study about David Jones, David Jones, uh, and lastly, Herbert Reed. Herbert Reed. Now, you must have just uh, heard about some of the war poets like Wilfred Owen, Siegfried Sassoon, Robert Brooke and others you must be ignoring. So others also cannot be ignored. They are very important war poets. You should know about them that most of them died in the battlefield and only two of this list survived. So these are the war poets that you need to study. Then another movement I like to talk about is symbolists, the symbolist and T.S. Eliot and W.B. Eats are the most important symbolist poets of this era, T.S. Eliot and W.B. Eats. Also, you have to study some of the French poets associated with the symbolist era and the French poets would be Stéphane Malm, Stéphane Malm, M-A-L-L-A-R-M-E, but the pronunciation is Malm. Uh, Stephen Mam, M A L L A R M E. Then Paul Verlaine, Paul Verlaine, Arthur Rimbaud, Arthur Rimbaud. Then Jules Leforgue, Jules Leforgue, L A F O R G U E. Then Gustav Kahn, Gustav Kahn, G U S T A V E K A H N, Gustav Kahn. And Paul Valery, Paul Valery, V-A-L-E-R-Y. Let me tell you that Edmund Wilson also becomes very important. Uh, his work, Axel's Castle, published 1931. Please research on that a little and study that too. The entire list is my personal uh, research on all the questions that are asked in the papers and uh, these are also these also include the ignored writers. Mostly students have the habit of studying the writers that are repeatedly asked, but few of them are ignored and we are not able to answer questions from those writers. So please study under French poets. Stephen Mam, 
Paul Verlaine, Arthur Rimbaud, Jules Lefort, Gustav Kahn, Paul Valery, and also Edmund Wilson's uh, Axel's Castle, nineteen thirty-one, published, must be studied. Now, uh, let me also talk about the poets of the nineteen thirties. Very important poets of the nineteen thirties. They are also called as the Pink Poets or the Pilon Poets. Pink Poets or the Pilon Poets. Now, under these, you will study some six to seven names again. Louis Mackney's. W. H. Auden. If you structure the poets and study like this, it will be interesting as well as informative for you. Otherwise, you will forget about all the writers. If you know which writer belongs to which age, which group, it will be very easy for you to structure your study and answer the questions. So, poets of the 1930s are Louis Mackney's, W. H. Auden, Stephen Spender, C. D. Lewis, Christopher Isherwood. These were friends. these all were friends specifically mh w h auden and christopher isherwood were very nice friends uh, rex warner and edward upward rex warner and edward upward there is this also group uh, also another group max ponde group the acronym of these writers max ponde group m a c s p a u n d a y you should know about this group also from 1st october we'll be starting a course on literary movements and we shall be covering each and every movement in that particular class it would be a one month course on literary movements it's going to be a very interesting course course so those of you who are interested in joining that course you can register your names registrations are going on right now we are coming up with a cultural studies course from tomorrow onwards we are starting a course on cultural studies which is a full course full length course in 14 days all the important cultural studies writers will be uh, completed their con their concepts and everything about the cultural studies course you don't need to study anything else other than that exams will also be taken at the end and a certificate will also be provided today is the last date for registration you can join that also then you also already know that we are already running with a theory course literary theory course which is a three series course a three month course and there are final exams again at the end and each and every theory along with the critics are taken in detail then there is our uh, very famous opted by many uh, there is this british history course right now we are on the elizabethan age studying each and every writer and uh, work in detail so that again is another class by us all these classes are taken on google classroom we upload lectures on a particular time and then students hear the lectures according to their own time convenience we give assignments we provide uh material we give them projects we assign them projects and every week there is a test there are zoom lectures in between so there are a lot of activities that takes place uh, in our all different classes so uh, the upcoming schedule i would like to announce the upcoming classes from tomorrow cultural studies today is the last day for registration and registrations are also on for the literary movements course which is going to start from 1st october that is a one month course uh, okay coming back after the poets of the 1930s will come the poets of the 1940s these are also called as the surrealist poets surrealist poets and also called as neo romantics neo romantics surrealist poets and uh, neo romantics so these are the poets of 1940s i have placed four poets in 1940 see if you remember by the group it will be very easy for you to you know solve those chronological order questions in your question paper in poets of 1940 study these four writers one is dylan thomas dylan thomas fern hill is extremely important then uh, he also has this uh, has a uh, written this poof on james joyce's portrait of an artist as a young man and dylan thomas has written a spoof named portrait of an artist on young dog so this also becomes very important very rarely known by people dylan thomas has written a spoof on james's james joyce's and the name of dylan thomas's spoof is portrait of an artist on young dog so uh, next writer is david gascoigne David Gascoigne G A S C O I G N E David Gascoigne 
third is third poet of the 1940s is george barker and the fourth is hug davies hug davies d a v i e s so these are the four poets from the 1940s now coming to the poets of the 1950s they also belong to a group called the movement group let me tell you that there was no movement in movement poetry there was no movement as such but they are still talk, called as the movement poets or the movement is a movement in the literary history but uh, specifically if you study about that in detail you will come to know that there was no movement in movement poetry so what are the writers you will study under the poets of 1950s or the movement first one robert conquest robert conquest second one very important philip larkin philip larkin bitson weddings is extremely important a question is always asked philip larkin tom gun tom gun g u w n donald davy donald davy elizabeth jennings elizabeth jennings and lastly j d scott j d scott and he was the one who termed who coined this term the movement j d scott is the next group of poets is the poets of the 1960s and the 1970s now the poets of the 1960s and 1970s are basically a reaction to the movements to the above poets that we just studied so the poets of the 1960s and the 1970s are a reaction to the movements conservative approach to poetry the movement poets were very conservative in their approach and that is why the poets of the 1960s and 1970s are going to react against that movement we just studied now under this there are six poets you have to study the most famous of them all is ted hughes the one who married sylvia plath so ted hughes animal imagery is very famous he he has all mostly all his poems named on the names of animals so animal imagery is a uh, very prominent in the poems of ted hughes then second is jeff natall jeff natall uh, j e w f n u t t a w l jeff natall third is peter finch peter finch fourth is paula clare c l a i r e paula clare fourth is sorry fifth is bob cobbing bob cobbing c o b b i n g bob cobbing and the last is tony lopez Tony T O N Y Tony Lopez L O P E Z Tony Lopez. So these are the six poets of the 1960s and 1970s. I know again you must not have heard the names of all of these because they are unusual, not really studied. But you need to study them if you want to score good marks. Then also when you are studying about the poetry of the modern age, you cannot ignore the two magazines. there are these two magazines that you should study along with the poets one is the poetry review and the second is reality studios poetry review and reality studios i have literally uh, undertaken each and every writer and work that has been appeared or is expected to come in the papers that would uh, come next so these are the entire poets that you need to study from the modern age i have specifically divided into uh, divided all the poets into classes the poets of the uh, starting from the images then symbolists then war poets so i have structured them so that it is easy for you to place them under a category then 1930s then 1940s 50s and lastly 60s and 70s and then i gave you the two names of the magazines so if you go according to this map it is going to be very easy for you to cover the modern poetry thank you